welcome back to another video guys today I'm going to be adding some body filler to the bike um, on the bits where I welded where it needs neatening out also today I will finally take all the spur brackets that I no longer need and then it's just prepping it for paint let's crack on So this is what I'm using today, just some I got off Amazon, don't know the brand, don't know if it's any good but I assume body filler is just body filler. Got body filler application set again off Amazon and I've got a knife just to lift the cap off. It does already come with a spreader but I bought these just for the different angles, different sizes, wasn't quite sure the damage on the bike. This is what you mix with the stuff in there. Let's see how it's done. So I know for this stuff the ratio is golf ball size of this stuff with a pea size of the hardener. I'm just going to use the lid for this. Yeah, let's crack on. This stuff smells by the way, so do it in a well ventilated room. And then you just stir it all together. Mixing it all in. in it. Mm. And then when you're happy with it, start applying. Don't be afraid to apply more than you actually need because you will be sanding it down. You just want to get it in all the gaps because your sanding will actually be the procedure that smooths this all out. Can you see the difference here from where I've, I've kind of messed up? This is relatively smooth. This side started to become all sort of cakey like, bit bitty like it's not appliable anymore. That is because I've left it too long making that, spreading that, doing that. So a little tip would be just to do small amounts at a time, spread it on, make more of the mixture, do it again. That will still harden into the place that I want it to do because it was only a small piece. It's just that it's not as pliable for me now to actually move it all about. But it is all in place and yeah, just gotta wait for it to dry now. So I crack on with the rest. So while I'm waiting for the filler to dry, I'm going to be taking off all these brackets here. Uh, However, not this one here, because yeah, that actually holds the mechanism for the brake light. There's another cable that attaches there, and when you push that down, it triggers the light. 
get rid of all these, get rid of this one here, so my earth filter will go through. I don't think that that is actually going to be a big structural part of the frame, because there is all this still keeping it as one, and obviously all this going down. So hopefully me getting rid of that will actually affect much, because that was just where the regulator was sitting. But from where the engine sits, the carb and the filter that I've got doesn't fit because of that. And with here, the foot pegs, obviously this is going to be a first, a first person, a one person um, ride. I don't need the foot peg, but I do want this because this is obviously for the brake, keeps it in place, otherwise it will just fling up keeps it in a nice place and um, so what I'm thinking is probably cutting that across there taking this off so all I've got is that bit at the end I'm thinking that could work on that side as well Right guys, that's the bike all cut now. All the brackets are off that I need off. Um, so thank you for watching. Tomorrow, tomorrow's video, I'm not that good. Next video will be the whole body getting completely um, depainted, stripped of paint, to then have the new paint fitted, satin black. Um, I'll just quickly show you what I've done. You can see. Perfect little triangle now going on. The stand is off. Foot pegs gone. They will get sanded down and neatened up. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week for the next episode. Goodbye.